But the first thing we want to do is make the wheel. It turns out better when you work this from the outside. So instead of putting it in on the inside like this, put it on the outside. Kind of try and make them to where they're evenly spaced. The pan just kind of helps hold it together to form the circle. I don't. You think it looks good? Mm -hmm. But it ain't, and I did it. You want to leave a little bit of an opening? Oh crap. Okay, I forgot to mention that you need two paper towel holders. If you're using a bunt or I don't know what this, a spring form pan or whatever this pan's called. If you're using one of these, it's easier if you take your rubber band and wrap it around beforehand and then leave a little bit of it left out. That way all you have to do is just lift it up. Another thing that I find that's easier, make sure whenever you're putting them all on that they're all facing the same way. So make sure that the Velcro part is all, they're all going in the same direction. That helps it look a little more uniform. After I rubber band it, I don't really like that hole being that big. So I kind of just mush it in a little bit to help it out. You can play with it and you can kind of make it look how you want it to look. Don't be too hard on yourself while you're putting it in your pan or whatever you're using. Once you get the rubber band on it, then you can form it and shape it how you want it. You want to make these stronger. So you take a diaper and you roll it up like this. Take a rubber band to help hold it together and then put it in here and I have three diapers in here do that for each one okay I'm gonna end up sitting here messing with this all day all right so once you get those finished and your tubes finished you want to stick it in just like that to make your axle isn't that adorable? And then you do it again with your other one. Wow. Okay. Oh, so Isn't that awesome? <laughs> there are your two sets of wheels. Now it's time to make the base of the four wheeler. I'm going to take this receiving blanket don't like this seam sticking out so what I'm gonna do is how I folded this down I'm gonna do it on both sides both sides yep what, what, what I'm gonna do is the both sides that way it'll look nice and neat oh. up to kind of make sure that it's nothing's none of the diapers are in the way and that it's even and then anyway, take this hey and put it on like hey that that way it'll hold a whole lot better and you're gonna have your stuffed animal sitting on top of this so it's gonna cover it's, it's gonna cover that part up Ooh, now you want to put some ribbon around diaper to cover up or around your wheels to cover up the ribbon or to cover up the ribbon to cover up the rubber band I'm making this for um, Andrew's cousin they are having a little boy and they are doing the nursery in a rustic theme that is why I picked out the uh, possum I think that's possum I'm gonna sound like an idiot, good grief. I picked out this print because obviously it looks very rustic. I went with neutral colors with the gray for the uh, for the blankets. Then went with this blue burlap uh, ribbon. I'm going to use 
this instead of that cheap string. This is the three ply jute cord burlap whatever. Huh. I was just talking to myself and going on and on and on and on and on and I didn't have my camera on. Okay, so I don't like the fact that the wheels can come off very easy and this is kind of sliding around. I'm going to take this off. Um, in case you can't tell, this is my first time making a diaper cake. So just bear with me, people. Okay, I have an idea. I'm gonna tie it right here on the end. And then tie this one here on the end. And pull that tight. that this will fit Look really really tight as tight as you can really squish them together go through here we just like go through the middle and then tie this so that is what it looks like. I went from the back, came through, put it through here, and then tied it onto the axle. I just, I really want to make sure that that's secure. I'm going to put flowers right here, so that's going to cover that up. And, you know, if you have a better way of doing this, please comment down below. My sister made me a diaper cake uh for my shower and i'm glad that she made it durable because you know being transported it, it it just needs to be durable just trust me okay now we're going to do the handlebars so i'm just going to keep this folded like how because it still has the creases i don't have time to iron it and make it look pretty um if you have time to iron your blankets I would recommend ironing them or throwing them, throwing them in the dryer, steaming them, something to get all the creases out. That way it looks nice and neat and pretty. Again, just the OCD in me. Am I recording? Okay. Kai, did you get my rubber bands? Oh, wait. No Never mind. Never mind. I'm sorry. Let's okay. tape. Okay, so just start taping. I would tape it a good bit, like every... I don't know. Go with what your gut tells you. My gut is telling me to go mm -hmm. space it out. If you can even see that, space it out about that far. I'm not really good at saying, oh, space it out and know exactly how many inches that is. I'm just not, you know, I think I've embarrassed myself enough on this video. Now we're going to bring this back over. And what you do is, is you take your handlebars. Look how cute that is! And I okay. got it. And you set those down and put this on top of it. Is that done now? Not yet. Okay. okay, and now we wrap this, hopefully for the last time, around. Pull the blanket as tight as you can. You can either, I forgot to add that. I'm awful at this. But you can either tape this or paper clip it. I'm going to paper clip it. I got the jumbo paper clip. Dang, I didn't add that in the things that you'll need. I'll have a list of everything that you'll need down below. Okay, you take your sippy cup. It's kind of going to be like your headlight. So you take this and put it right here. Make sure that this is even before you put, before you wrap your blanket around. that you look at it from straight ahead because like just now I did not do that and now I'm having to readjust. Take your socks and put them eh, I'm going to let mine stick out a little bit. I think that looks really cute. Okay and I have them face 
down. The heel part comes right to the end. Oh, 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 oh! Watch me, watch me. I got a wooden letter to attach onto it. So now I can find a dude. I'm gonna cry. Oh, maybe it's right here. Okay, oh. they are naming him Brantley. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I bought this letter to go on here. Hmm, I don't know if I want it right there or not. It would have been cute if I would have gotten like a B and then a T for their last name or a BS for his middle name. No. <laughs> BS would not have been a good idea. Okay, here's our little animal. Look how cute. What I'm gonna do, I got this from Target, in case you were wondering, in the craft section. And I'm gonna wrap it around the bottle. And then put this back on. And then slide this in. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is the cutest flipping thing I've ever seen. Look how cute! Look, this is him from the front. Okay, gotta put his little seatbelt on. That's his bed bit. Yeah. Why? What if we the, just... Don't make the bed safe? That's right, so he can be safe. Now tie. It, it doesn't need to be too tight, I don't think. He just needs to My have some skirt. Oh my gosh, Whoa. perfect. I have a lot of stuff oh. left over. I didn't want to just get them everything that it takes to come with this. I wanted to get them a few extra things. So this is how I arrange the basket. I put the, uh, woo, I'm gonna dump out the basket and show you how to do it all over, all over again. I got the basket at Target. These are the extra diapers that I had, the teething bit, bib, is back here and then I put the three uh, extra booties that I have left over. So what I'm gonna do that I think is a little bit different from what other people have done is I'm gonna make a little trailer on the four-wheeler so where it looks like that and I'm gonna do it very simply by taking some jute cord and wrapping it through the basket. I knew I'd have diapers left over because this calls for about 50 diapers Honest Company only comes with 80, so I went ahead and got the, uh, went ahead and got two packs, so I obviously had extra plus the extra booties, plus I wanted to get, um, the teething bib. I'm going to take this and just, well that didn't work. Mommy's lost her mind. Why you was that in mind? Because Mommy's just silly. No, no. You don't think so? No. Aw, you're so sweet. Why are you not my feet? Because you're just like your daddy. Okay, so I uh, tied it in a knot, and now I think I'm going to wrap it around like that. And then tie a bow. Okay, now to carry this in, I bought a... 20 by 28 foam board for $2.99 at Target. Of course. When my sister made my uh, daiquiri cake, she threw me a baby shower and so did my aunt. So she just had it as part of the decoration because it was so cute. But for somebody like me who is giving this to someone, I don't want to come strolling in carrying all this. So I got this huge gift bag. Wait, how in the world do you open it? This is ridiculous. You did it. Yeah. I'm gonna get you. Y'all, this is insane. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I figured it out. burlap bow to the back of it just because because it's cute who are we kidding 
So what I'll do from here is just wrap this up and then carry it in like this, uh, holding that. I'm also going to wrap up the little sign that I got them and probably put it right there. Oh, I forgot about the flowers. Okay, I'm actually not crazy about the uh, blue. I don't think it looks horrible, but I do think it adds a little bit extra girliness because you gotta remember this is for the mom in the end. Even though it's for a boy, I think adding the flowers looks really cute. I would rather add white flowers, but I've had these forever and haven't used them, so I'm using those. I did pick it up and I definitely recommend using the uh, foam board underneath or you could use cardboard if that's what you have on hand uh, because it makes it so much easier to pick this thing up and carry it. Uh, I would not pick it up by the top of this. Definitely carry it from the bottom. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. This was a learning experience. This was my first time making a diaper cake and for my first time I think it turned out awesome and I hope y'all loved it. <laughs>